On election night, a lot of information is going to be thrown at you. So where are we getting our information and how safe is it from cyber criminal cyber criminals? I should say trying to undermine or sow doubt in our election results in the voter process. Well, 10 Tampa Bay wants to make sure that you are aware of any potential threats that could come our way. Vote Squad's Courtney Robinson shows you what election administrators are doing to protect the integrity of your vote and the election outcome. Cybersecurity is a huge issue for election administrators. They train for this. They work constantly to protect against cyber attacks. It's essential to the process. I talked with Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections, Julie Marcus. Before the 2018 election, they allowed us in, along with some professional hackers, to check out their voting systems. Everyone in this building is always on guard for potential threats, whether it is picking up a USB in the parking lot or potentially clicking on an email upstairs. We have spent a considerable amount of time making sure that these systems are all accurate and secure. This election, the focus is still there, but the warnings from the FBI to the public are about election night results pages. The potential for bad actors and cyber criminals to manipulate those, crash sites with denial of service attacks, or even creating new websites to display disinformation and get you to share that. The website that provides for election night reporting, ENR, is not the same website that provides our day-to-day -day website operations that voters see every day. Um, but there's also other processes we have in place um, that we can then fall back to. And if it literally means uh, posting PDFs of the tabulation report that we print out every 15 minutes, we do what we're gonna have to do to make sure that voters have confidence in the process and that we are transparent. With systems separated, you need to know that the underlying data and those voting systems would remain uncompromised. Clinton Daniel, a cybersecurity specialist at USF, agrees. He says the focus of cybersecurity is protection. Protecting confidentiality, your information, integrity, in this case election results, and availability, making sure you can access those. And we put controls in place so that bad actors don't ruin the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of that system. But then the more complicated piece is, you know, what people do because we're humans. <laughs> Daniel says with layers upon layers of security within voting systems, that's why educating the voter is one of the best defenses. Be mindful that these things um, could happen and what they look like. And if you see it, what's an appropriate response, what's an inappropriate response. Because again, you know, people are really that weakest link when it comes to um, cybersecurity and social engineering. So what can you do? A couple of things. First, be patient. There are going to be a lot of people trying to get this information at the same time on election night. If a site goes down, don't assume an error message means there's been a hack and share that as fact. You should let the elections office know that you're having a problem. Second, know where you're getting your information about issues and those critical race results. Get it from a trusted source. And I hope we can be that trusted source for you. I'll tell you what, that piece from Courtney made me feel so much more confident in what we're going to see on Tuesday and beyond. And we're getting information from supervisors and the Associated Press. That is where we are getting our results, making sure you have everything you need to know on election night. And if you want to continue to research on how to cast your vote, your voting early precincts, anything else, just head to 10tampabay.com.